See how this is a KWV3 coilover and it's actually leaking? I mean, it lasted three years before it started the leak, but once it started the leak, it rode like shit. Like immediately, I was like, why Why does it feel like I got a blown strut? So I pull a tire off and I look at this, all my other ones are perfectly clean and shiny. I look at this, this one looks like it's been raped. It's just leaking fluid all over the place like a dirty little whore. Well, you don't say. KW sent me a whole brand new coilover. Well, how did that happen? Ah, so here's my desk where the magic happens. But if you look here, the process says whenever you buy a KW coilover, they come with a lifetime warranty. So they will rebuild them for free. And here's the process that you will go through. So you're gonna send in the coilover just like this. This is a sheet that they send you with the instructions of what you need to do. You're gonna go ahead and fill this form out. And this is why it's important to keep your original uh, invoice or your receipt from when you bought them. So as long as you have your original invoice and receipt from where you bought them, you'll just go ahead and fill this form out, attach your receipt, and then you're sent back in your old coilover that's leaking, and it costs you absolutely nothing other than shipping, which was like 15 bucks. And they will warranty it for as long as you own the vehicle. So if, it, if they ever leak or ever have, ever have an issue, uh, you can just send them back in and they're gonna rebuild it for you and send you back a brand new, basically. Over. So let me fire this beast up and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to pull it out real quick and do a warranty repair. Uh, since I'm the original owner of the KW V3s, it's a lifetime warranty. So if they start leaking, all I do is just send it in to KW and it'll take three weeks, but then I get a brand new rebuilt coilover. So let's go ahead and pull the G up there on the top of the uh, sky rise here, high rise, and pull this coilover out. The fastest way to remove this is you're gonna take and go inside and turn the wheel to the left. You do not actually need to remove the upper control arm like in every other video. It's much easier to go ahead and just turn the wheel to the left, which spins this out of the way. And that's the secret little trick to removing this very quickly. So once you take a 17 uh, wrench and just stick it on this other side so this bolt doesn't spin, go ahead and crack this loose with another 17 socket. And the reason I don't uh, pull the end link off here because it just every time it strips. You're just better off because this has a stabilizer on this nut back here and you don't have to use two uh, wrenches to get it off. So go ahead and take a 17 and loosen this up. And you have to do this, you have to raise both ends of the car so you can get this, uh, this stress off of this. Put a little tension on this so it makes that uh, sway bar end link pop out a lot easier. Bam, that's why I put a little tension on it. Go ahead and lower it back down. Move this bracket right here. And just slide that off. Brake line. And then I just put the bolt back on so I remember it. All right, once you have uh, all the 14 millimeter nuts, off of the top of the pillow hat of the coilover. Then all you're gonna do is once the wheels turn to the left, the secret trick, so you don't have to remove this control arm, is then you're just gonna push down on it. And voila. You now have your coilover. There's the pillow hat. And look how loud that's leaking. Dang, that thing is leaking like none other. Once you have the spring out, then uh, you want to take these spring compressors to take the rubber pillow tops off. All right, once you have the wheel turned to the left, you're going to be able to slide this OEM strut in very simple. Let's just go ahead like this. Well, I found out you don't want to stick this in first. You actually real quickly slide it over this like this and go ahead and all right, once we have this here, you're gonna take the jack. You're gonna lift up on this a little bit. Make sure these are lined up in these holes. There you go. 
And there we go. Once you go ahead and you have uh, these in the hole and this little bolt down on here, go ahead and jack it up so you get the sway bar in the link to connect. And there you go. So now you have that. Go ahead and put your end bar, sway bar in link nut on. And then go ahead and tighten these uh, these nuts on the top of here for the, for the pillow hat. Just FYI, it's like 110 degrees here in Phoenix, so the old boys out here working in the sauna. And then you're basically done. You're just going to take this and hook this back on here. And there you have it. That's how you quickly put in a OEM strut without having to remove or mess with the upper control arm.